Stone Dominoes are the visitors to Valerie Park this afternoon and a win here for the Reds will ensure that they finish the season in 19th place in the league. Stone's previous two visits to Valerie Park have seen a 4-1 scoreline, one for each side, so if the history books are anything to go by, it could be a high scoring game. Stephen Jones takes his place up front, having recently become the Reds' all-time leading goalscorer when he knocked in the third away to AFC Blackpool. Humphreys launches it on and picks out Jones, who with instant control brings it down. Turns, plays it inside to Lawless, who gives it back to Jones, lines himself up for the shot, drives it in low. But Dyson is able to make the save. Zaros tries to find Ryder, but Harris is there defending, though he does concede the corner. Ryder with a delivery to the edge of the six yard box, and Curley gets his head to it. Can't direct it on target, but that was a fairly decent half chance for the Stone captain. Brown is inside to Lawless, who's got space to turn. Goes onto his front with left foot. Sells Muller the dummy. Looks to place it in the top corner, but his radar isn't quite switched on. Humphreys knocks it back to Brown, who's got time to look up and fire it towards Lawless, who lets it run for Barry. He's in behind the defence, squares it for Sinnott, who slides in, but it's a yard line of the uprights. And Jack Sinnott is inches away from giving AFC Liverpool the lead. Lawless releases Jones down the left hand side. Willis tracks him, Lowndes comes across to help. Jones not meant Villas, lovely turn by Lola, sets it up on a plate for Sinnott, Dyson makes the save, and Barry can't quite follow up. 30 seconds ago, Jack Sinnott almost gave the Reds the lead, this time he should have. Perfectly set up by John Lawless. All he had to do was direct his head out either side of the keeper. takes over, chips into Harris and flicks it on, Jones goes for it shortly, he's caught by Villas, the referee agrees, awards AFC Liverpool a penalty, surely now the Reds can take the lead that their dominance of the opening half hour deserves. Stephen Jones sneaking in ahead of Luke Villas, who I don't think was even aware of the Red striker's presence. And it's Lawless who's assumed the responsibility and he dispatches it with ease into the corner. Dyson was an error in the middle of the Stone Dominoes nil. Brown looks it down the line for Barry. First time flick on picks out Stephen Jones. Waits for the runner, Barry then rolls it into his path. Barry looks up, picks out Sean Harris, who's completely unmarked. Harris fires in and Sinnott turns it down and grabs his goal. It is hard work this half is deserved. It was Francis Barry who was the key to unlocking the stone back door, who had the presence of mind to look up and pick out Harris. And then Sinnott was in the right place to turn it down and play his fifth ball of the season. on the head of Sinnott, his cushion header finds Jones and Barry's free once again down the right, he squares it for Sinnott who doesn't quite get there, Jones comes in and neither can he, Picton tries to knock it back into the box but it goes more up than forward, then he picks up possession once again, now Jones takes over, refires in a shot, and it's a comfortable take for Dyson. Torpy. Not 
looks at Bolden into the corner. Jones gives chase. Edwards tracks him, tries to shove him out. Jones escapes his attention, keeps the ball in play, then pulls it back for Sinnett, who smashes home. And AFC Liverpool have a third within 60 seconds of the restart. Stone aren't happy about the decision though. They claim the ball went out of play and from that still it looks as though they've got a good case. But it's the old adage of playing to the referee's whistle. Steve Jones did exactly that and Sinnott grabs his second of the afternoon. it to Harris who's got Jones in space to his left finds him Jones has got plenty of options rolls it into the path of Harris and a bubble in the pitch leaves Harris with a fresh air shot otherwise it surely would have been 4-0 Sinnott puts Meyer under pressure and the defender's header is picked up by Jones. Definitely back here, finds Lawless and Williams is in space down the left hand side. He gets past Beach easily, looks up, pulls it back for Lawless who side foots it into the back of the net to grab his second of the afternoon. Mateo FC Liverpool 4, Stone Dominoes nil. Stone are all over the shop as AFC Liverpool slice through their back line at will. There's space for anyone in a red shirt and surely there's more goals to come. Zaros is quickly closed down by Lawless. He's all over him, won't let him escape his attentions and then he wins possession and that's great play by John Lawless. And then there's a lovely bit of skill and Sinnott's persistence keeps possession for the Reds and Barry picks it up inside the centre circle and there's plenty of red shirts breaking forward and Barry lays it into the path of Jones and surely this is 5-0. Dyson makes the save, now it is 5-0 and Stephen Jones gets his name on the score sheet for this afternoon. This is turning into a rout, and AFC Liverpool look like they're going to score every time they go on the attack. You can see the confidence flowing through the side, so much so that when an opportunity isn't taken first time, it's casually dispatched the second time around. Edwards knocks it out to the left to find Miller. He's got time to look up, put a cross into the box. Instant volley from Curley and Benson pulls off a brilliant save to deny the stone dominoes number nine. Leon Bimson, who's had nothing to do for 18 minutes, pulls off a marvellous save to prevent James Curley's fine volley from nestling in the top corner. Bimson gets a fist to it and drops for Ryder, his first time shot is deflected and it's behind for a corner. And suddenly there's a bit of fight in Stone Dominoes, there's another good delivery into the box, means AFC Liverpool have to defend it stoutly. Comes back to Marin, he shoots, Curly flicks it on, Bimson makes another save to deny the Stone striker for the second time in two minutes. Zaros can't find the teammate from the throw in and Williams hooks it further clear. He's controlled by Edwards and that's a brilliant first time ball from Lawless to set Stephen Jones away. And he comfortably slots it under Dyson to make it six and become the third AFC Liverpool player this afternoon to grab two goals. John Lawless once again showing his quality and what an addition to the team he has been. And Stephen Jones. Well, you always felt confident he was going to knock it into the back of the net there. Stone Dominoes, I'm sure, will just want the referee to blow his whistle and end this match. But if AFC Liverpool could get one more goal, that equal their record win. 
7-0 against Declan Shaw last season, 7-0 against Winsford United this, and there still could be time for one more as Barry takes it on his chest in his stride towards the byline, pulls it back for Jones, and this is a hat-trick surely, but he's put it over the bar, and you would have bet your house on Stephen Jones making it 7-0 there. Time to turn, but he somewhat stumbles though. Does well to keep possession and find Barry. Lovely first time ball from Stephen Jones has set Barry away. Dyson comes off of his line. Barry gets there ahead of him, but his effort ends up in the side net in. And that's unlucky for Francis Barry. His performance today has warranted a goal. 6 0. Was that one of those games that's a real pleasure to play? Yeah, yeah. It was a great game to play in. I mean, <coughs> it was a patience game. I think it. We knew we knew we had the quality there. It's just as long as we broke them down, um, and then we knew the goals would come after that. Lots of uh, movement in most of the team there. Good passing. Yeah. yeah, we made the best of a of a bad pitch really because the pitch isn't isn't in great condition as you can as you can tell. Um, but I thought we played some great football on there today. Um, two goals for John Lawless. Two goals for Jackson. In it. Two for Steve Jones. Yeah, it was a race for the hat trick one in the end. Um, I think Steve, Steve and Jack will be kicking themselves. I think the pair of them could have had a hat trick. No, I made up because that did all three. You obviously get two strikers and then you attack on midfielder, all getting on the goal. She's that's all what you want, isn't it? Yeah, Jackson, it's um, <coughs> made a lot of running today up front as well. Yeah, Jack's been, Jack's been outstanding all season. Um, he'll play and put a shift in whatever position you put him in. So <coughs> it's a credit to Jack. He's he played really well all season. Leon Bimson and Golden have nothing to do for 80 minutes and then pulls off a fantastic save to, know, to deny their number nine. Yeah, um, well, it shows great concentration throughout the team. Obviously, we've been on top of near enough the whole game. He hasn't had a shot to save all game and he's getting called into action in the last 10 minutes twice. That shows great concentration from Leon and two brilliant saves. Uh, looking forward to the uh, derby against Bootle on Monday. Yeah, we'll have a little bit of a team bonding out tonight. Uh, hit the town and then we'll all be ready to go for Monday. Take them out. Six nil. Uh, the scoreline pretty much sums that up, doesn't it? Should have been more. Um, but to be fair to the lads, it's a credit to them because it's easy now that we're safe to go and play football and just sort of go through the paces. I won't allow that to happen. To be fair, the lads are not allowing it to happen. Uh, we've got two games left. I want to win the two games. Uh, but some of the football t today, on a, on, a, on a sticky pitch, if you like, muddy in, in parts. Tremendous, absolutely tremendous. The scoreline reflects, you know, people might think that oh, that's a one way. You know, we've played, we've, we've played really, really well. That's the best we've played for a long, long while. Uh, and it's a credit to the lads. Uh, and I'm very, very pleased. Is that just you being a little bit nitpicky, though, uh, wanting more goals there? I'll always want more goals. I, I don't care what level we're at or, or where we are. If, if we're on top of games of football like that, I want. Because in, in my time, when I've played football, managed over the years, I've been here for sixes and sevens, and it's not nice. Uh, <coughs> and I'll always instill into the lads, especially if they're on the front foot, I don't care. You keep going, you keep going. It's easy to sit, uh, sit back and, and play nicey nicey. Keep going forward, you're on the front foot, and get as many goals as you can. Uh, great team performance there today. It was uh, hard to single out uh, one in one individual. Yeah, again, collectively, you know, they're all switching on. I mean, you know, Leon Bimson there has had nothing to do for 80 odd minutes uh, and he's pulled off two world class saves to be fair to the kid. Uh, so that says to me, you know, his concentration levels were there because he's had not much to do. Uh, but again, it's collectively today was top notch. Uh, great team performance, great work ethic, passed and moved the ball all over the pitch uh, and we were up for it. Uh, but again, the lads know we're not just going to take our foot off the gas because we've got two games left and there's two games we want to win. Collectively and as a whole. Credit to Stone Dominoes, though. Um, they gave you gave you a good game. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're always going to be, you know, the difficult times. You know, they they will have a little go. Uh, but again, you know, we've passed and moved the ball. And if you pass and move the ball at this level of football, then you you, you know you can do all the running around. And it's hard when you haven't got the ball. You know, they were running out of steam coming near the end. Is that um, the pressure being off the lads today? Did that make them shine all that more? These lads that have pressure on them all the time because I, you know, I, I demand, you know, 
I want us to be successful. Uh, it's no use going into the, to management or to play football at any level and sort of trying, you know, come the end of the year, we look at it and I, I won't, I won't uh, accept our, our portions of games. I want us on the front foot all the time. You know, it took its time coming, but, you know, somewhere along the line it was always going to click. Uh, we've worked on a few things. You know, and it's again, it's been a pleasure that we're winning games of football and, and, and we're winning comfortably. But most importantly, we're playing very, very well. We're playing football the way it should be played. To be fair, is it an important thing for you this summer to keep this group of lads together? Then, uh, yeah, but you know, uh, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't like to go on about budgets and things like that. You know, it's I'm going to have a meeting with the lads now, uh, collectively, uh, individually. I'd love to keep each and every one of them, but you know. I can't stop people coming knocking on doors uh, or ringing people up, but you know that's the uh, <coughs> the beast we live in type thing. You know, we we just if, if it happens, it happens. But it's up to me to try and keep these lads here, uh, and it won't be for one for trying uh, because they're always a pleasure to work with. They're a good gang of lads, and I certainly know the good players. Yeah, he went three at the back today. Was that necessity, or was that something you wanted to try? Well, I'm not going to talk about buying formation because it gives too much things out on the uh, the video. Because I know people will be looking at these things. So my formations, me and Stuart, we're going to work on all kinds of formations. Not just because it's the end of the season. It's something you know. I've spoke to with Stuart for a long while. I've tried to get Stuart at this football club for, for a little bit, uh, and it's it's something. We won't be working just on one formation. We'll be working on four or five formations. Uh, because again, it'll be nice for the lads, and it's credit to the lads since you're on about the formation. We haven't worked on it, but the last two games we look as if we can play it. Um, so we want to plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. So if anyone's watching us, you know, <laughs> if they try and match it up, hopefully we can change it around. But you know, again, I just said to the lads, it's a credit that we haven't worked on it as much uh, that they can take it in. Uh, but to your first question, whether I keep these lads is another matter, uh, but I'll try, uh, because again, it's a credit to them that they've come to this football club and they've got them where they are at this moment. Uh, there was a fluidity in the side today as well, players stepping in into each other's positions uh, quite comfortably when they called for. Yeah, again, you know, it's, it's like anything, and we always say and we always go on about it, communication is the best thing on football pitches. If you don't talk, then nothing's happening, is it? Uh, you know, I have a little mad saying in there, you, you wouldn't go on a chippy and just stand there, would you? You've got to say what you want. Uh, and it goes onto a football pitch, you know. Again, if you if you communicate and you, you get together, and you, you you know, again with the communication, it's just so simple. But unfortunately, you know, players make football very difficult when it's such a simple game. Nice little derby coming up on Monday. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, it, it's nice to play in it in, in, into the fact of the matter that again we know we're safe. Uh, unfortunately, Bootle, you know, haven't gone up, uh, so. You know, people might say it's a not on game. Well, it is. I mean, I'm sure Boot will be up for it, and I'm sure my lads will be up for it. Uh, I'll be up for it, and you know, no, no, no doubt Chris will be up for it because again, it's a local derby. It's a little bit of pride, you know. It, it goes with any level of football. If it's a derby, it's a derby, and it's a derby to be won. Uh, and I want to win it as much as Chris does. But you know, bring it on if the weather allows it. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations on today's result. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Did the smile. <laughs>